Welcome again to the Educator.com Reading Comprehension course. Now we're going to do probably one of the most fun lessons you'll ever do, the one about scripts and plays. So the overview for this lesson is pretty simple. First off, I'm going to talk about the role of scripts and plays on placement tests for college, such as the SAT exam and anything that you would use to get into maybe a private school or you kind of know those placement test type things. Then we're going to talk about the many uses of scripts, and there's actually maybe more than you might realize. We're going to talk about some important differences between scripts and stories and novels. And I'll give you an example of the differences, and then finally we'll go over some jargon, and then you'll have your assignment at the end. So, what is the example of roles and scripts on an exam, like the SAT? Well, it turns out they are not as emphasized as short stories and discourse. Most of the time, if you are going to have one of these things, it's going to be at the very end, and it's not going to be as important as reading a long fiction passage or a long essay passage or one of the short reading answers that you're normally used to seeing. If you do have them, they have something called a soliloquy. Now, what is a soliloquy, you ask? Well, Soliloquy comes from two words, solo and loquacious, which means one person speaking out. And of course, the most famous soliloquy you've ever seen is from Hamlet, and it's when the main character finds the dead bones of his gesture, and he starts saying a bunch of things to it. It sounds something like this. Alas, poor Yorick! I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest and most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on the back a thousand times, and now how abhorred in my imagination it is. My gorge, my rims, here hung those lips that I have kissed. I know how oft. Where be your gibes, your jambles, your songs? And so on and so forth. Very, very dramatic. He's very sad, and he's talking to a skull, and he eventually kisses it. So, that's what you're going to find on a test. Soliloquies. How do you interpret them? just like you're reading a speech. They're really easy. Now, uses of script in real life? Well, obviously we got plays in theater. I'm sure that you could have predicted that one. And then, of course, movies and television. But the one place you might not know is graphic novels and comics. The most famous graphic novel of all time was a graphic novel called Watchmen. And I've already referenced it in a previous lesson with our friend Rorschach, the anti-hero. And that was written by one person and drawn by another. And so when somebody was writing up this graphic novel, or any graphic novel, they normally write it up in a script format. And then somebody else does the artwork. Because it turns out it's really, really hard to be both a very good storyteller and a very good artist at the same time. There aren't many people who can do both. And that's just kind of how it is.